Hey guys, welcome back. Last time I did one of these videos was a little over two years ago, but I'm back and ready to read more of your juicy assumptions about K-pop. I asked you guys on my Instagram for your assumptions. Y'all delivered as always, so let's get into that. But first, I'm sponsored. I know it's shocking since I'm painfully irrelevant and very inactive on here, but alas, here we are. 2021 is full of surprises. Okay, now cute little word from our sponsor. Firstly, I want to thank today's sponsor, Wondershare Demo Creator. Demo Creator is a user-friendly editing software that is available for both Windows and Mac. It has many features. One is a screen recorder, which I certainly use a lot for my own content. Demo Creator makes it easy to capture your screen. You can even customize what part of the screen you actually want to record. You can also customize the frames per second to ensure premium quality. With this also comes the screen drawing tool. With this feature, you can directly draw and type onto your screen. As you can see, I'm just doodling here, Chase you forever. <laughs> Anyways, Demo Creator also offers all the basic necessities to properly and easily edit a video. You can import files, crop your footage, split clips into two, Add and customize text. As you can see here, I'm vamping up the on the ground dance practice video, stream it. You can even add cute little text boxes and graphics. Demo Creator also has many transition effects as well. Now, my personal favorite feature has to be the green screen feature. All you do is import your footage with the green screen, add in whatever photo you want your background to be, and simply drag the green screen effect onto your timeline, and voila, you have Luna dancing in space, as they should be. If you want to try Demo Creator out for yourselves, be sure to check out my description box. Down there you can find the download link. Thank you again Demo Creator for sponsoring this video and let's get on to the actual video. More than half are gay or in relationships. This pretty much sums up the majority of responses I got. I mean anything really is possible but I will give no further comment on this since sexualities and dating you know is not really any of my business okay but we can always assume. Some K-pop groups pretend to be friends on camera. I've been saying this for years. I mean, imagine having to work and live with the same group of people. There's no way you would get along 24-7. Like, let's say you get in an argument with one of your members, and then you have to go do a show and pretend you aren't mad at them. This has to have happened countless of times. I loved in Blackpink's documentary, Light of the Sky, when Lisa and Rosé share that story of when they were trainees and they used to fight. Like, honestly, I loved it. Like, it felt so real to me and made me love them even more. Everglow buys views. Honestly, can't say I agree with Everglow buying their views. I always like to look at the music video views and compare them to the live stage views. And if the live stages don't have a lot of views, yet the music videos have like millions, I'm more likely to think the company buys views. But Everglow has the numbers. I can't lie. Their songs have kind of been relevant lately. So, I mean, yeah. But I definitely believe there are groups that actually do buy views because girls the numbers don't add up like it does not add up mental problems are more common than we think like anxiety and eating disorders girl i mean don't we all have issues going on i mean it's hard living in this world right now for a lot of people but yeah i'm positive idols definitely have their own issues going on but they just can't show them and they can't talk about them because you know, people don't want to see the weakness. They want to see the perfect. They want to see the perfect idol performing, giving us everything we want. And it's sad. Um, and honestly, not being able to talk about it is probably leading to it worsening. But at least we have groups like TWICE and BTS that allow certain members to take breaks from promoting, to deal with their own things. That always makes me very happy to see that they all secretly want to go solo at one point. Hmm, I don't know about all, but I'm sure that there are a lot that have debuted with their group for a few years, and they're probably like, all right, where's my solo moment? You know, Rosé has her moment, Hwasa has her moment, you know, Kai had his moment, where's my moment? Like, I'm sure 
a lot of idols have kind of thought, I think I could kind of do it on my own. You know, I've done it for a few years. I think I could own the stage. And honestly, I'm here for that. I don't mind idols doing their own thing solo. I love to see it. Keep the content coming. Red Velvet is set to disband. This actually kills me when I saw this. Like my heart like cracked a little. I don't think this though. Not anything soon anyway. I mean, SM groups don't have a history of disbandment, if I'm correct. But they may just hold off on OT5 comebacks for a while. I know Wendy is going solo, speaking of solos, um, with I think it's called like In the Water or like Like Water or something like that. Something with water. Um, but I am putting my hands together. I'm praying for an OT5 Red Velvet comeback by at least the end of the year, I hope. Please, God, if nothing else, at least give us a red velvet moment. I thought JYP and YG was a gay couple. I know five minutes ago I said I wasn't going to talk about relationships or sexualities, but I honestly hate to say this, but why do I see where you're coming from? Like, why does this actually kind of make sense? <laughs> okay, anyways. Honest to God, I still don't know how to pronounce this group name. Is it Aespa? I believe it's Espa, but I thought it was Aespa, but it's Espa. Whatever. Espa won't be very successful. Okay, so I see why someone would think this, um, but I do think that this group will definitely be successful. They will traffic a lot of eyes towards them because they're obviously an SM girl group. Everybody wants to see what they're doing, but I'm not so sure their success will be like out of this world, like the biggest girl group ever. I definitely don't see that happening, but you do, you never know. I mean, you never know. We shall see. Idols have private social medias and secretly stalk us. Okay, I definitely agree with the first half of this statement. Not so sure about the second half because, I mean, really? I'm pretty sure that if idols stalked us, they would never work again. They would be terrified to have that career. <laughs> No one gets paid well except for BTS. I feel like it's obvious at this point that BTS bring in the most coins, but I don't know. I feel like Twice, Blackpink, EXO have all made really good money as individuals and like Big Bang too, but I truly don't know. I have no idea. It does make me sad to think that companies put out these idols and just take all the money they bring in. Oh, like that makes me so scared to buy albums sometimes like I don't want my money to go to these gross companies I want them to go to the idols I want them to go into the idols pockets but I don't think it works like that all the time all right you guys that's the video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys when I see you sometime soon maybe I don't know okay bye <laughs>